Okay, so let's let's go to the firmware upgrade over the air. So we will start by downloading the OTA application with the ST-Link. Uh, then we will use our phones, the ST STBLE sensor app, to download the very first application into the flash. And to see uh, what's happening, you, we can observe the, the logs on the LCD. Or you can also open the serial wire window to see even in more detail what is what is happening. So it follows the flow of the of the of the each individual application. So let's start by connecting the Nucleo to the ST-Link connector. The dongle we will not need it anymore. So this is what we did, uh, and this is how the UART locks uh, look like. Uh, so you can use a terminal window and uh, connect to the virtual COM port after we flash the OTA. So uh, please remember that on your tables you have numbers. And this is important because each of you will have a separate uh, individual uh, binary and that's how we will identify. So open the cube programmer uh, GUI and try to connect first to the Nucleo and then locate uh, the BLE underscore OTA and then your identifier and you can drag and drop it and download it into the into the Nucleo and once you're done uh, y you should power cycle the board so unplug and replug the cable and you should immediately see something on the display just to review what uh, what we did uh, we put the OTA at the bottom of the flash and it ends at address 8 million C000. The, there is no application, so the, uh, what OTA does, it preventively erases everything which is above and it will start advertising. So now it's ready to be connected with your, with your phone. And that's what you can do. What we want to do is put the application which in this case will be point-to-point -point server and we want to store it in the phone and once you have this uh, you connect to the OTA select the file in the application and select the correct offset so this is this is actually the address in the flash where we want to store the point-to-point -point server user application you should be able to control the state of the LED by pressing uh, by pressing that on the display. When you press the first button, you get a notification back to your, to your phone and this, uh, this icon will light up. Uh, this point-to-point -point server, it's actually also capable of OTA, so it integrates the OTA reboot characteristics in the service. So that's why when you slide to the right, you see this window and this is actually configuration of the OTA reboot characteristic. So we can specify that we request to reboot to OTA and we specify which area to, to erase. I mean, what, what, w which area in Flash we want to erase. And after we write to these characteristics, the reset is generated and OTA, OTA will start. So this is how we, we are going to flash the uh, other, uh, other, other binaries. So it's important that it, uh, that it works. It's sometimes necessary to uh, clear the cache, of especially on Android. So there is, if you click here, there is a way to clear the cache. So Android, for some reason, it caches the devices. And if you change the firmware and the Bluetooth address is the same, it uh, gets confused.